Now let's take LCM on to these two constant terms so that I get x minus 3 over 5 whole square minus 25 being the LCM reduces to 1 times of 9 is minus 9 and this would be plus because I have taken minus common together from these two terms outside. So I get plus inside the bracket and then 5 times of 5 is 25 and then 5 times of 2 is 10 is how I do the LCM of the two given numbers. Now then this reduces to an equation where the constant is taken to the right therefore from here this implies x minus 3 over 5 whole square will be equal to 10 plus 9 19 over 25. Now this is further simplified by taking square to the right side which reduces as a root. So when x minus 3 by 5 whole square is equal to 19 by 25 then that implies x minus 3 over 5 is equal to root 19 over 25. Of course I get plus or minus out here because when x squared is y x is plus or minus root y. Remember x squared equal to y implies x equals plus or minus root y is a very important formula out here. When x squared is y, x is not root y but it is plus or minus root y. Even the minus sign holds true along with the plus sign of root y. Therefore, I get plus or minus root 19 over 25. Therefore, simplifying this, I get this as x minus 3 over 5 is equal to plus or minus root 19 by root 25 which is 5. This constant on the left is again taken to the right with two values where I get one of them with plus and one of them with minus x minus 3 over 5 is root 19 over 5 and then again x minus 3 over 5 is minus root 19 over 5 is how I get 1 plus and 1 minus thus one of the plus giving me one solution of x and one of the minus giving me two solutions the second solution of x therefore I'll get two solutions for a quadratic equation with degree equal to 2 at most two solutions now in this case x would be root 19 over 5 plus 3 by 5 which comes out to be 3 plus root 19 over 5 is one of the solution and then this reduces to x equals this brought here will give me minus root 19 over 5 plus 3 over 5 which on LCM gives me the final answer as 3 minus root 19 over 5. Therefore, I get two solutions for the given quadratic equation, this and this, to be the roots or the zeros or the solution of the given quadratic equation using complete square method. So this is how we do the complete square method. Now sometimes there are quadratic equations in the form say for example 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0 then in case of such quadratic equations the complete square method also can be used but need to be identified with the exact formula of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared or a squared plus 2ab plus b squared with the respective formula. Now in case of this let's randomly check on how the complete square form can be done. Now for example, I have this quadratic equation 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Then the first step of using the complete square method is that I need to make the coefficient of x squared equal to 1. Therefore, I divide the whole equation with 3 so that I get x squared minus 5 over 3x plus 2 over 3 equals 0 is how I get the quadratic equation reduced with coefficient of x squared equal to 1. But here as I observe this is in the form of a squared but I don't have 2ab. There is no term 2 multiplied to this. Therefore I need 2. So what do I need to do? In this case what I do is I write in the form 2ab. I reduce this to 6 because I multiply with 2 and divide with 2. 
so that this becomes strictly in the form of a formula a square minus 2 a b whereas this again on simplification gives back the original term 5 over 3 of x so cancelling two ones and two threes again i get back 5 over 3 of x and the reason why i multiply here is that i have the formula a minus b whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square now this being a square i need 2ab and hence the 2 is multiplied it is essential and very much needed to multiply 2 and equally divide with 2 plus 2ab is there but again i need b square to make this a perfect square so i just add b square and subtract b square as i have done in the previous problem so adding of b square and subtracting of b square with the original term 2 by 3 undisturbed will they will make this to be a perfect square is how we understand the perfect square method so in this case this reduces to x minus 5 over 6 of whole square and then this reduces to minus 25 of 36 plus 2 over 3 equal to 0 and thus we proceed as we have done here but the most important part of this method is to identify the coefficient of x square and then reducing this to a complete square form either by using the formula a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square is a very important note for this method the complete square method.